We are thrilled to have the reigning Mrs. Newport Beach, Julianne Elchiskis, Miss Newport Beach, Julianne Haney, Little Miss Newport Beach, Addison Lemmy. How are you, Addison? So what do you do for fun? I like to play with my dog. Her name is Essie. Is that a picture I see of Essie? Yeah. Oh, will you show it to the camera? Now, Essie would not be happy. Is she upside down right now? <laughs> Essie probably could do flips. <laughs> Let's get a good shot of, look at that. Oh, you love Essie, don't you? There's three winners here today. Do you know how many categories or events they have? Yes, there are seven different categories, and they start from the Little Miss Newport Beach Angel, which is th ages three, and it goes all the way up to 93. Julie Ann, so you are Miss Newport Beach. That was a tough competition, right? So what did you uh, get out of competing in the competition? I think um, living in Orange County where beauty is such a spotlight, um, a lot of women and girls, it's a problem to get obsessed with your outward appearance and it's just important to remain true to who you are and to realize that there's more than us, um, there's others, and so it's to serve others and love and accept everyone. Um, that's what I've gotten out of it, I think. You look great at the competition, but you, you had a very important question, I think, that helped to just win it for you. What was it like if you had a million dollars or won a million dollars, what would you do with the money? Right? Yeah. Yeah, I've come through um, an eating disorder and I would help all the girls with the disease out there and I would definitely raise money and start something to help the girls feel good about themselves and know that a size zero doesn't isn't perfection. You're who you are and that's what I'm all about. I'm from a little small town, Indiana, and I did win Miss Blueberry back in the day. <laughs> little Blueberry. farmer girl here. Um, so I did do that, but other than that, I haven't been in any pageants until Miss Newport. Addison, why did you decide to compete in the pageant? Because my mom, she was Little Miss Howdy Roo in 1980. She was Little Miss what? Howdy Roo in 1980. Howdy Roo? And I heard at home that you actually have like pictures of when she won the pageant and when you won it, right? Woo! Little Miss Howdy Roo and Little Miss Newport Beach together side by side. I want to see it. Oh my, so we have a Howdy Roo and a Blueberry? <laughs> Do you want to be Miss Blueberry, Miss Howdy Roo, or Miss Newport Beach? You can decide, right, by going to NewportBeachPageants.com and enter because I'm loving, I actually like the Little Miss Howdy Roo, I have to tell you, your mother. You gain a lot of confidence from these Absolutely. pageants, don't you? It gives you great confidence. It makes you go to the gym. I even got up at 5.30 in the morning to get ready for this thing, to go to the gym. And walk, walking down in a bathing suit down that runway in front of hundreds of people is something else. But it's awesome. The pageant is going to be in August, right? August 27th. August 27th. The activities start in June because there's a lot of training that the girls will go through, which is great part of this, of this pageant. They do modeling training, makeup, hair, of course, etiquette training which I teach. I heard that you sometimes incorporate songs into the I training, do. right? Well, I try to make it very exciting for the kids and etiquette isn't always exciting, but you know, actually as an etiquette teacher, I always travel with a knife and fork just oh. in case I have those moments where someone asks me, how do you use your utensils properly? You put your handles in the hand and the finger on the top and the handles in the hand and the finger on the top and the handles in the hand and the finger on the top and the handles in the hands and the fingers on the top. What's Up Orange County is going to be there to film it and um, we're going to go to the website newportbeachpageants.com so that they can win like you did. Thank you ladies.